when I was a lender at the bank, we were working on a loan for this building when they were gonna purchase it. And I stepped in, um, saw the place, and went to their existing location and saw that. And I'm like, wow, what a cool thing. I had no idea fooders existed, had no idea what they were. And I love woodworking, I loved beer drinking, so it was kind of a perfect match, and I fell in love with the place. Everybody asks, what is a fooder? And I have to tell them. It's a, just a big oak tank. And they say, oh, like a whiskey barrel. No, not like a whiskey barrel. And we're much bigger than that. It's a, a large barrel. And then people ask, why would we use that over a barrel? I said, well, it's permanent. It'll outlast you. You don't have to worry about leakage. And you get a more consistent product. They've been around for hundreds of years. It was the default choice until stainless steel was around. That is how beer, wine, spirits, everything was made until metal and steel became popular in the Industrial Revolution. And there are still places in Europe that have fooders that are hundreds of years old. Oak is kind of the neutral gold standard flavor-wise for what producers want in their products. American white oak is more of the vanilla, marshmallow, buttery flavors. It can be totally neutral. It can add a lot of oak character. It is what you'll make of it. Missouri has very sustainable forestry practices. So we're actually growing white oak at a volume higher than what we're using it at. And it's kind of the perfect vessel for making things that are gonna hold water.